Andrew McGahan for Severe MMA here in the living room in Dublin, standing alongside Peter Queeley, who fights in the three arena at Bama 26 this weekend against Joe McColgan. And Peter, first of all, you ditched me in Vegas. We're still not cool over that. But thank you for taking the time today. I, I, I didn't ditch you. I, I, um, you were escorted out yeah, by the UFC. We, were like, we weren't allowed to go anywhere without these security dudes. So we had to go straight back up to our room after we did the media day with Artham because of all them, Hoodlums. whatever, 209 crew floating around trying to give us gang signs. Did I not see us. you with a bally gown two litre in your hand after that press conference? <laughs> yeah, no? she didn't. No, okay. I didn't try anything. I tried to get upstairs, but I didn't throw anything. I let you away with it. Talk to me about this. Um, it didn't seem like you were going to be on the card. It looked like you were going to slot in at 202. What was the sort of fortune behind you? You were just like, I was ready to fight at the UFC and now I'll just see if Bama can match me? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I was I was given that fight at 202. Um, the only reason I hadn't like kind of taken a fight on Bama or any other show uh, after 202 is because I was I was so confident someone would pull out and I would get in for 202. I knew they, I knew they would. And uh, people aren't ready like I am. They're not ready to step in on short notice like I am. So I knew I would get in. And I did get in, but they just couldn't get me a visa in time. So once that uh, was put to bed and I knew I wasn't going to get a fight on 202, I quickly you know, got a fight here in Bama and that was it. Do you think, though, a lot of people in your situation would have been happy to sit back, maybe get back onto the UFC and say, like, look, well, I don't need a visa to fight in one of the European cards coming up. Maybe you could put me in on that. Was it the momentum that went through that whole training camp that made you think I'm ready to go in and test myself and double show them, show the UFC that I am ready to be brought in? Yeah, that's exactly. I've nothing to hide. I'm not. I'm not afraid, or I'm not. I'm not afraid to risk what I have, or, or whatever. I'm confident I can win against anyone. So I could have done that. I probably could have sat in my record and, and waited for Belfast, and maybe I would have got on to be honest. But that's that's not me. I'm I'm ready to fight. I'm here to fight. I'm a fighter. So that was it. I was I was, and I'm dying to be on this show. I loved it the last time in Dublin in, in the Tree Arena. So it's just I'm dying to be on this. And when the opportunity came, I, I took it. So from those from the outside looking at this card and maybe looking at the fighters and seeing their records, they might be raising their eyebrows about why is Peter Queeley fighting at 1-0. But I think you yourself, more than anyone, about how the fight came around, this is a fight that maybe is a little bit closer than records would suggest. Yeah, well, how the fight came around uh, in the first place was he was supposed to be fighting Kiefer, my teammate, and Kiefer broke his foot or his toe or something, or his, I don't know what he broke, something on his foot. And uh, then that was the replacement fight that Joe was offered, and Joe accepted it. Uh, and fair play to him for accepting it, but he, he's doing the right thing. He is he has a lot to gain from from fighting me. Um, and and to answer your question, this 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 is yeah. On on paper, I am a lot more experienced. But Joe is to put it this way, I was supposed to fight Joe back in our amateur days. So we're training like he's training a long, long time. It's just I have been uh, whatever more fortunate in the amount of fights I have taken a pro, and how my career has gone has, has gone a bit smoother than his one. But uh, experience-wise, it's very close. It's a very, very close fight. So um, and it's it's a good fight too. I think it's the the fight people want to see because cause of those. I was actually supposed to fight him again then a pro early in our career. That one didn't happen. So we're like two kind of dogs staring each other through a cage for a long time now, and, and we finally get to fight him. I'm dying to fight him, he's always someone I wanted to fight, so I think he felt the same. He took it very quickly. How that fight actually came about, I mailed him privately and just said, listen, let's have a knock on Bama, and he was like, yeah, let's do it. And that was it, we just got on to Bama and they, they were delighted to put that fight on straight away then. Two quick things, are you giving it the south title of the people's main event for this weekend? I know you're not uh, you're not the main event, but is it the one that maybe the fans, the Irish, like there are gonna be fans there that are just mixed martial arts fans, but there will be fans there that will also remember when the two you were meant to meet after a cage contender a yeah. couple of years ago. And I think for those people, it's just a fight that they wanna see. Well, all them um, little like Twitter polls that BAM are doing tell, tell their own story. Like, if you look at them, they're getting 50 and 100 votes. Me and Joe's one got bloody 500 votes or something. Everyone wants to see that one. That's the one people are interested in. And if you look at the fight people are talking about, even though there's three belts on the line, Everyone is talking about me and Joe's fight. So it is 100% it's the people's main event and, and it should be the people's main event because it's two Northern Ireland versus Ireland, two Irish guys who've been around the scene a long time, who are supposed to fight many times and are, who, are, who are the two top welterweights in Ireland, in my opinion. So, yeah, it is the people's main event. Now, finally, he inadvertently, we have an interview with Joe being posted today as well. He inadvertently gave a little prediction. Okay, so I'm not going to tell you what it was, but you now need to give me okay. a little prediction and we're going to see uh, if the two guys think the same. Okay, I think um, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna stop him in the first or second. Is my prediction. Excellent, Peter. I'll wait for I'll wait for Joe's prediction and we'll yeah, see. Yeah, until you see it. Thank you very much. Right, see you on right. Saturday.